Hello, I'm Nizul Hafiyah Zunan bin Zalal And nombor menteri 14 DAM 20F 10-20-20 I'm here for in, intro My group presentation is Mechanical Keyboard Okay, I will start What is Mechanical Keyboard? Mechanical Keyboard a keyboard most people picture when they think about keyboard They hear the classic looking study keyboard from the 1918 A more proper definition is that mechanical keyboard are made with high quality plastic which under rate each of the keycap ok in this presentation i will introduce about switch stabilizer plate pcb and keycap ok first switch after decide after decide to go for mechanical keyboard Another question actually come out very soon. Which which switch type do you want to use? The switch are probably probably one of the most important part of the keyboard. Two keyboard from the same model but with different switch type can feel greatly different. Okay, based on their characteristics, they are basically three type of switch. First, linear switch, tactical switch, and kitty switch. The linear switch are simple, are the simplest one. They feel seems for from the moment you you will start pressing the key until bottom out. They are not typical feedback or noise when hitting the extrusion point. So the most of the time you will probably program out with on each key press second tactical switch provide tactical feedback when hitting the extension point as you press the key down you will notice the small bump which lets you know that you key press got actually successfully registered ok the last last step is clicky switch provide the additional click sound when hitting the actual point the main advantage of tactical and clicky switch is that you do not do not have a push the key all the way down. You can release the key immediately after you receive the feedback. Okay, second is stabilizer. What is stabilizer? Stabilizer are the digital key keyboard component press under the largest key such as space bar backspace shift to the key key for shaking rattling and tilting while type the stabilizer keep the key balance so you can have stable typing and gaming experience there are different st stabilizer types first is cherry style, costa, and optical. Okay, cherry style. The style are the most common stabilizer out there. They are preferred stabilizer style as they are easy to mount and have a lot different option when it come to mounting style, color, and material style. Second is costa stable. Costa stable less common stabilizer type. As they are primarily only found on older keyboard top, older keep some newer keyboard may have them. Okay, the last one is optical stabilizer. Optical stabilizer are type only found on keyboard with optical switch and have a funky design. They have small clip or insert into the key cap and you snap into the stabilizer bar under the plate of keyboard ok after that is plate 
in plate mechanical keyboard there are metal sandwiches between the switch and PCB the plate is effectively locked between the switch and the PV PCB and cannot remove unless a single switch is dissolved first okay the next is PCB PCB make the keyboard the switch are soldered directly into the circle board PCB with nothing between okay the last one is keycap what is keycap is keycap is a plastic covering on top of each key which that identifies the letter of symbol input into the computer Personally, user are content with stock keycap but keyboard has the screen of them which keycap out for customer options gamer and professionally professional who use their keyboard of name prefer mechanical keyboard over a membrane keyboard okay that's all for me i switch to my panel okay thank you hello hello my name is amino demi shamsho i'm from cladem 3a my number meter is 14 dem 20 F one zero C. Today my content is advantage and advantage and disadvantage of mechanic keyboard. Advantage longer lifespan. Mechanical keyboard have a significantly longer lifespan. Most of mechanical switch are tested for thirty to seventy million key press. Common key. Common membrane keyboard only offer a lifespan of about 5 million key press anti ghosting. Compared to membrane keyboard, the mechanical keyboard has more anti ghosting key up to 104 key anti ghosting. No way out. Mechanical switch do not only last longer but they also Sadly, will out even uh, after several years typing on a mechanical keyboard. Almost feel like the first day they are no clipping key or key getting stick, getting stuck. Now I will talk about this vantage. Hi, we. More way even uh, fit the stability, but it also make transporting the keyboard be less comfortable. Additional, the way can be annoying if you want to put the keyboard on your lap. Sound level, mechanic keyboard are usually bit louder than other keyboard, especially keyboard which blue switch. High price, mechanic keyboard are more expensive than most keyboard because it has a brand on it that's all for me thank you assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh my name is muha hazim rizali my matrix number is 40dm 20f1028 and today i will show you the difference between mechanical keyboard and members keyboard so the dip, the first difference between mechanical keyboard and membrane keyboard is the feel when you use it. The membrane keyboard have a mushy feel, are more affordable and quiet, and lack of key rollover. Mechanical keyboard have a smoother switch actuation, give a better feedback and have a key rollover. However, they are more expensive and they are often loud sound as well. So the second difference is the customizability. The mechanical keyboard has a highly customizability, which is 
the key cap so you can change the key cap with the fancy one which is like a cartoon or the full key cap you can also change the color of the uh, of the key cap so the other one is the the other customization is the rgb is this the make it with keyboard have a fancy rgb just have a lot of color and have a feather like a wavy one but on the membranes keyboard you have a little custom mobility which is you can customize the keycap and the rgb just a flat color which is the white color so what will you choose the choose between membranes and mechanical keyboard should be based on what you need for it for your keyboard you if you spend a ton of if you spend a ton of typing or you want something that great for gaming you should go with the mechanical board the feedback on the mechanical keyboard is a fantastic as long as you can deal with the noise you have a much smoother typing and gaming experience thanks to the support of a full key revolver but if you're on a budget or you're planning on typing only every once in a while a memory keyboard is the way to go they are more affordable and still provide a good typing experience although the lack of key revolver make the poor choose if you type a fast or playing game so for the my opinion the mechanical keyboard is a good for gamer and the memory keyboard is good for worker who work or at office and want to work silently so i think that's it for me assalamualaikum Assalamualaikum and good evening. My name is Muhammad Dinya bin Shahril. My matrix number is 14F40F1036. I am from class 10 3A S1. And today I'm going to present to you about different types of mechanical keyboard which uh, divide into two uh, topics which is the different type of switches and the uh, size that are available. Now to start with the topic uh, which is different type of switches. Now if you're just starting to get into mechanical switches you are going to see mainly three types of switches which is a uh, blue, a uh, red and a brown switch. Now for the blue switches it's called a clicker switch. Uh, it's called this way because Every process is going to make a clicky sound, uh, and it's have it have a notable bump, tactile sort of feel to it. Now the next type of switches, uh, which is a brown switches, uh, it's uh, what we call a tactile switch. It has a notable bump, just like blue switches. But it does not produce a very uh, loud clicky sound, just like the blues, which is a perfect uh, middle ground, I'd say, if you still want the uh, a perfect tactile bump feeling. Now on to the next switch, which is a red switch. This switch are called uh, linear switch because it does not have a tech, any tactile feel or bump to it and it is also for a quiet switch um, if you are the sort of person that likes mechanical switch but does not want the tactile feel or bump and the, the noise it makes you can go for the red switch if you're just starting out now on this topic of switches if you dig deep enough you are going to find much more than the previous three that I mentioned uh, type of switches. Uh, for example, on the right side is a uh, inverter holding tender. On the middle, uh, on the middle one is a novel keys cream, and on the left side is a C3 tangerine. Now. All of these are 
all of these three switches are linear switch now this just goes to show that there are many possibilities and customizability uh, for each person on to the next topic which is about size mechanical keyboard size now the main tree that you are seeing right now uh, you are going to find very easily which is a full-size keyboard or what we call them but full-size 104 uh, percent um, the 10 keyless or TKL layout and lastly the percentage layout now the percentage layout has many different kind of variation there are 75%, there are 71%, there are 68% and so on. Now for the full size keyboard, uh, the benefits of it are the easiness of data entry. Because of the numpad, you can easily put, you can easily, I mean, you can easily input a lot of data in one time if you are very proficient at it. Now another benefits of it is the uh, USB pass-through. Some keyboard, some full-size keyboard have a USB pass-through which means that you can connect your mouse, your USB stick or even your headphones uh, to it which make a less clutter uh, for your PC. And some model also have a micro keys uh, for example mine does uh, as you can see on the uh, left they are what uh, they are written G1 G2 and so on uh, these are what we call micro keys if you are using uh, a software that needs a lot of uh, uh, functions you can assign them to each micro keys now the next size is the TKL. This is what we call a perfect uh, comfortableness and the productivity side for keyboard. Uh, it is also very much widely available from all of the famous and famous brands uh, because of its uh, perfect compromise between size and functionality lastly on the left side which is what I personally call a percentage size because there are a lot of uh, size um, or per uh, percentage is what we call them uh, for example the one that I have is a 65% uh, custom type keyboard uh, it's called 65% because it has a 65% key, I mean a 65% keys. The benefits of this type of uh, keyboard layout is the maximum desk space that you are going to have. If you are the, uh, a gamer that doesn't really use uh, much keys for productivity, and you only care about the WASD keys then this is uh, the perfect size I'd say for gamers now it is also very much easy to travel with because of its small size you can just chuck it into the backpack and go along with your day now all of these topics and characteristics that I just mentioned are widely, uh, I mean, widely available on the everyday application shop shopping application that we use, such as Shopee or uh, Lazada. I will uh, give the link to purchase uh, these many type of keyboard on the screen right now. And I think that 
pretty much it for today. I hope you like this explanation and thank you.